Besides stage 16 turning out completely different from what I had expected, we also saw additional changes to the starting field, with ag 2 r now down to three riders after losing Cherel and Parepintre following a positive Covid test during the rest day. Also Walscheid at Kofidis and Kemna at Bora did not start the stage due to sickness. On top, we saw Soler at UAE struggling with his stomach throughout stage 16 and unfortunately arriving outside the time limit. Here's the GC going into stage 17, with Bardet and Mas losing a lot of time, and Quintana, Godu and Vlasov moving up. In the green jersey competition, Wout van Aert extended his lead even further. He is now 217 points ahead of his nearest rival, and there is a maximum of 240 points left to earn. So, on paper, only Pogacar and Philipse are still in the running. In the KOM standings, Geschke extended his lead, Yet tomorrow is another big day for the Polka Dot jersey. The standings are still tight and there's 88 points on offer till Paris, 85 of which over the next two stages. 35 points in stage 17, 35 points in stage 17 and 50 points in stage 18. Stage 17 is a short stage of 130 kilometers from saint gaudin to Peragude, containing three first category and one second category climb. The Col d'Aspin and the Col de val are quite steady, yet the finish at Peragud has the steepest bits towards the finish line. With none of the two main GC contenders having the team left to control a full stage, we saw Jumbo Visma improvising brilliantly today by sending two people into the actual break. I'm expecting a break to go up the road once more tomorrow, with a fierce head-to-head -head GC fight behind. Here's the stage odds at the time of recording, with Vinegard and Pogacar as the clear favourites. Also in my book, even though I expected to go to the break, I'm going with some GC contenders amongst my favorites, Pogacar, Vinegar, Geraint Thomas and Quintana. And at DSM, I'm counting on Bardet to bounce back from what he called his worst day on a bike ever. For the break, you often see the strong getting stronger in the third week of a Grand Tour. So I'm going with Maduas at Grupama, Paulus at EF, Lutsenko at Astana, Jungels at EG2R, Woods and Froome at Israel Premier Tech, Verona at Movistar, Geschke at Kofidis, and somehow I also like Luis Leon Sanchez at Bahrain Victorious for this stage. In terms of stars, Jungels and Geschke get four stars, Maduas and Froome get three stars, Vinegard, Pogacar and Sanchez each get two stars, Geraint Thomas, Verona and Lutsenko each get one star. Just as the previous stage, this is once more a tough one to call, yet in terms of podium prediction for stage 17 of the 109 Tour de France, I'm going with another win for Jungels, followed by Froome and Geschke. Thanks for watching, leave your thoughts in the comments below, like and subscribe and see you tomorrow.